22nd edition, Super Rugby is finally here. We've won three out of 21. The Lions came so close last year. Could it be the year that we get the fourth Super Rugby title? On Sport 24, 13,000 of you voted. 32% said it's the Lions for South Africa. Many of you say though, it's gonna be a New Zealand team. But for now, for this weekend, we don't have to worry about the New Zealand teams. We don't play them. The big one in Bloemfontein, the Lions against the Cheetahs, Curry Cup champions. But only 3% of you said the Cheetahs could win this tournament, let alone win on Saturday. So I am giving it to the Lions. I think they're the best team in South Africa. I've said that consistently. They were brilliant last year. They've got to go one better this year, and they've got to win the thing. Beaten finalists. I give it to the Lions by 12 points, and 12 points easily in Bloemfontein. And then down in Cape Town, the big one. 25% of that 13,000 said the Bulls are going to be the best South African team. And the Stormers, 20% of you said it's going to be the Stormers. At home in Cape Town, you've got to give it to the Stormers. 2011 was the last time the Bulls won here. Andre Pollard is back. He's the best 10 we've got. Great to have him back on the field. Let's hope that he remains injury free. But for the Cape Townians, Sia Kalisi leading them, fantastic young player. But this is the year he's got to say, I'm the man. I'm the man for the Stormers and I'm the man for the box. He's kind of had all those in between years. This is the year. Equally, Eben, Peter Steff at Locks, they are the Springbok locking duo. They've got to say, this is our town. This is our space. They're up against the old mate, Lut de Jaka. It's going to be a cracker. 35,000 plus are going to be at Newlands. I've got the Stormers to win by 10, but in a titanic struggle. I've also got another South African team to win on the road. The Sharks, they're up against the Reds in Brisbane. Great opening draw. It's going to be tough. Robert Dupree in his first game as coach in Super Rugby. I've got them to win by 7 to 10. Not such good news for the Kings down in Port Elizabeth. The Jaguars are here. They lost last year in Port Elizabeth, but they lost because they had 13 men on the field. Greater discipline from the Argentinians. It's still a very, very limited Kings squad. They'll be brave, they'll be passionate, but they'll lose by 10 points. Not all the ruggers local. Six Nations back again. Ireland at home against France. They got the Irish to win. They got CJ Stander, the bookie from Pretoria, to have another fantastic game. He just revels in the responsibility and he loves playing in Dublin. Got the Welsh to win against Scotland at Murrayfield. No Josh Strauss, no Laidlaw. I think the Welsh will be too strong. And they've got England's Eddie Jones. They play in the Italians. Take that as a given. They'll kill them in, at Twickenham. Uh, they'll make it 17 wins in a row. They won off equal in the All Blacks 18, but that's going to be in Dublin. That's for another weekend. And a kudos to Rassi, Rasmus and Munster. 13 from 15. They head up row 12. Montpellier, Jake White and his nine South Africans. They beat Toulouse last weekend. Third spot. For those having the debate, local or foreign, earn the right to say local is lacquer because we've got a lot of good players. South Africans playing in Europe and excelling. We need to see the mongrel, as I alluded to in my Sport 24 column, from the local players. If you want us to pick you and be loyal to you, you've got to perform.